hey what's up y'all and um and uh today the uh my mom preview and prediction series uh continues with the acc coastal part two virginia virginia tech um, Yeah, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, and Duke. Uh, so here we go. So we are going to talk with the start with the uh, with the uh, Virginia Cavaliers. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, storm uh, outside right now. So, but anyway, so so Virginia Cavaliers, right, or Virginia Wahoos, right, or just. Uh, the who's uh so let's see uh so um so uh let's see last year uh virginia was six and six uh yeah 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 no bowl game yeah, yeah their bowl game uh got canceled so but anyway uh yeah and um head coach uh Bronco Mendenhall um, stepped away from uh, the football program. Uh, uh, yeah, so um, so y'all hired uh, uh, Tony Elliott, uh, uh, offensive coordinator at Clemson, uh, as your head coach. So um, yeah. Yeah, so you do bring back uh, quarterback uh, Brennan Armstrong, uh, yeah, which is a uh, a great name uh, for a quarterback, by the way. Yeah, like f like forty five hundred yards, thirty one touchdowns. So, so yeah, so he's really a uh, a a, a, a a gunslinger, right? Uh, and then. It, it, and then, and then, uh, Virginia does not uh, run the ball uh, much, uh, but that uh, mom, mom is probably going to change uh, with a new uh, offensive staff. They're probably going to have a, uh, a a much more uh, balanced to try, try, try to have a more balanced offense. Uh, so they are probably going to run the ball more uh, this year. Uh, yes. Yeah, so then uh, your um, your uh, your best running back, uh, Wayne uh, Talapapa, um, transferred uh, to um, uh, to Washington. Uh, but you did get a uh, running back uh, transfer, uh, Cody Brown from Miami. And then you also already have um, Mama, Devin Darlington and Mike Hollins uh, were already on the team. So, and then um, and and then um, so your uh, top three uh, receivers return in uh, Dontavion uh, Wicks, Katon uh, Thompson, and. Billy Kemp the fourth. Uh, yeah, so I think that you are going to have a uh, a uh, a good offense uh, um, in twenty twenty two. Now, as for your uh, uh, your defense, uh, I, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, your defense. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it, it was um, bad last year. Yes, it was um, it was um, very bad. At times, like you know, they had you know you, you know you, you know terrible games against uh, against um, teams like BYU, North Carolina, you know, you know even um, Georgia Tech. So I mean, you did give up like sixty six points to BYU, fifty nine points to North Carolina, forty points to Georgia Tech. You know. But I mean, they they had some uh, some uh, some good games too, uh, two two shutouts uh, 
all, all the, although they were against Duke and William and Mary, so. Uh, but anyway, uh, so, um, yeah, so they did have, um, my mom's safety, uh, Joey Blount, uh, 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 went to the draft. Uh, yeah, he was picked up by the uh, Seahawks. And they also had um, an um, inside linebacker, Noah Taylor, um, transferred to North Carolina. So, but you um, do, do, do bring back your uh, leading tackler, um, inside linebacker, N Nick Jackson, and also uh, your, pro probably your, uh, your uh, best defensive back, uh, safety, uh, Anthony Johnson, uh, who also um, led the team in um, interceptions. So, and you also got a uh, a, a defensive end uh, transfer from Miami of Ohio, Cameron Butler, to bolster your pass rush, which wasn't very good last year. Uh, so now let's. Um, Get into the schedule. So you start out week one against Rich Richmond FCS team. Uh, you should destroy them. And then next, you are um, at Illinois. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 Illinois is terrible. Uh, yeah, you um, you um, mollywopped them uh, last year, and I would expect you to um, do so again and then um you got um old dominion uh 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 um and that should be another uh easy win so you start out uh th three and zero oh in these three non-con games and then next um you start out uh, your first acc game on the road at Syracuse on a Friday night. And um, you know that uh, that in these, uh, my mom, that in these uh, Thursday and Friday night games, uh, you have to um, pick the, uh, uh, the road underdog. Uh, so I am going with um, Syracuse to, uh, to beat you. Uh, yeah, that's just uh, the rules. So yeah, I don't yeah I don't write the rules. I just follow them. So yeah, you're you're losing to Syracuse, and you've got um, at Duke, and and I think you beat Duke. Uh, they're terrible, and then uh, and then you have you have Louisville. Uh, and I think, uh, that's a loss to, um, uh, Louisville. And then, uh, moving on, you get your, uh, uh, your bye week. And then coming out of that, you play, um, at Georgia Tech, um, on a, a Thursday night. And, uh, same thing, uh, with, um, Syracuse. I've got to, uh take take Georgia Tech uh, in this one. And then, um, so the next, uh, you've got uh, Miami, uh, and uh, that's a loss. I, I already did Miami, so. And uh, so I think they're a, a, a really good team, so. And then you've got uh, North Carolina, and if you saw my uh, North Carolina video, then uh, then um, you know that I have you beating North Carolina. And then you've got Pitt, that's a loss. I already did Pitt. Uh, so now you're sitting on five and five going into your last two games. Uh, you've got Coastal Carolina. I. Th I I think you beat them. I know that they uh, uh, they do bring back uh, um, their quarterback, but they lost a lot uh, 
from uh, from um, last year's team. So I think you will beat uh, Coastal Carolina, you, 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 even though they're they're one of the better group of five teams. I think you will still beat them, and then uh, you you finish up the season uh, at uh, uh, Virginia Tech. You know, I think that uh, Virginia Tech is not going to be any good this year. Uh, if the uh, new coaching staff, they lost a lot off of last year's team, uh, and, and they weren't very good to, uh, begin with, so I do have you, uh, beating Virginia Tech. I think that, uh, that brings you out to, um, seven and five, and three and five in the ACC. Okay, so now moving on to the Virginia Tech Hokies and uh, or the uh, uh, the turkeys uh, right so um, last year they were um, six and seven yeah six and six in the regular season and then just got um, obliterated by Maryland in uh, their bowl game so anyway so then um, head coach uh, Justin Fuente was fired. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, so they brought in uh, Brent Pry, uh, defensive coordinator at Penn State, uh, as head coach. So uh, yeah. So then uh, let's see. So start with the offense. Let's see. So uh, you're. Uh, quarterback, uh, uh, Braxton Burmeister, uh, hit, hit the portal. Yeah. He had transferred to, um, San Diego state, uh, but you do bring in, uh, um, um, Grant Wells from, um, Marshall and, and, um, and, and, um, yeah, he's a, uh, a, a good quarterback. He threw for like, yeah, for um over three thousand yards, uh, um, um, last year. So, so I so I think that you do have have an improvement uh, at quarterback. Uh, Bryce uh, Braxton Burmeister is doo doo. So, and then um, is he running back? Oh yes, you do lose do do lose your uh, running back. Yeah, and uh, probably your uh, best player on offense, uh, Raheem Blackshear. Uh, yeah, so he so he's good at running the ball, and and, and he's also a uh, a good receiver um, out of the backfield uh, as well. So, so I guess now it'll probably be uh, um, um, Malachi Thomas. Yeah, your uh, number two running back from last year probably taking over as the uh, uh the uh the main uh back. Yeah, he was a uh, uh a freshman last year, so and then so then uh let's see receivers uh yes yeah, so you did lose your top wide receivers. You did lose Trey Turner uh to the NFL and then uh Tavion Robinson uh, transferred to Kentucky, but you do still have um, still have um, Caleb Smith. Yeah, you're a number three wide receiver, and you do return uh, Mum Dwayne uh, Lifton, uh, who was a uh, a freshman uh, last year, so he does have some um, potential. Uh, there and then and then tight end uh um Nick Gallo yeah you might need to um get the uh, uh the tight ends more involved with the uh loss of the wide receivers and the, and then and then they also got a uh, uh got a wide receiver transfer from Temple um Jaden Blue so yeah 
yeah, they need all the help they can get. And so, and then on the uh, defense, yeah, you did lose uh, four starters to the NFL. You did lose a uh, safety, Tay Daly, um, uh, cornerback Jermaine Waller, um, linebacker, yeah, yeah, um, outside linebacker slash defensive end, uh, uh, um, Armani, uh, Barno, it is me, uh, yeah, um, yeah, Amari, uh, Barno, and then, um, defensive tackle Jordan Williams, uh, but you do bring back your, uh, uh, your, uh, leading tackler from last year, uh, in, inside linebacker, uh, Dax Holyfield, uh, and then, uh, and then the other inside linebacker, Alan Tisdale. And let's see, defensive backs. Uh, um, yeah, um, um, Nasir Peoples and uh, Chamari uh, Connor. Uh, yes, and your uh, big nose tackle, uh, Josh Fuga. So... So now getting into your uh, uh, your schedule, yeah. So you do lose a lot uh, from last year. So yeah. So I think this this probably will be a uh, uh, a rough season, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, with the new uh, coaching staff. But so anyway, um, so you do start out um, week one. Um, against, yeah, on, yeah, on the road, uh, at Old Dominion, uh, on a Friday night. And, uh, yeah, so you did lose to, um, um, um uh, Old, Old Dominion, uh, in, um, 2018. So, and, uh, yeah, and, um. Yeah, and um, I think uh, it happens again. Yes, I've got Old Dominion with the upset. Because, you know, with these, you know, Friday night games, got to pick the uh, the home underdog. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and, and then uh, Virginia Tech and uh, Old Dominion also have a series scheduled um, every year uh, through... 2031 I do 2032 uh, I think yeah 2031 or 2032 something like that so now I better move on so next you've got uh Boston College at home yeah I'll yeah so I will will, will give you this win mostly because it's at home if it was on the road I'd, I'd probably give you a loss but so anyway and then uh Wofford um, yeah, that should be, should, should be an easy win. So that's two and one to start out. And then you've got, uh, West Virginia. And, um, I think that's a loss. I think that West Virginia will be, uh, improved this year, uh, because of, um, JT Daniels. So I think, uh, that's a loss. And then, uh, next you play, um, at North Carolina, no, I, I, I already did North Carolina, so you should know that I already have you losing to North Carolina, so, and then you're, um, at Pitt, um, and yeah, I think that's a loss, I, I already did Pitt, so, and then, uh, next you play, uh, Miami, so if you saw my Miami preview, then you know that I think uh, M M Miami is going to have a really good uh, team this year. So I do have you losing uh, to Miami, as you uh, may already know. And then, uh, and then you get your bye week. And then coming out of that, you play on the road at NC State. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a, uh, uh, a loss. Uh, 
and then uh, you get um, Georgia Tech, uh, and uh, yeah, and and um, and um, Georgia Tech is terrible. Uh, I think that you'll uh, uh, you you'll beat them, although although it'll probably be close though. And then you've got um, at Duke, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duke's terrible. I think that you'll uh, they they you should beat Duke. Uh, and then you're um, at Liberty. Um, and, yeah, you know, I know that, uh, that, yeah, yeah, Liberty is probably going to, uh, take a step back this year, uh, without, um, um, Malik Willis, and, and, uh, they, and, um, they actually, uh, weren't that good last year either, I think they were only, like, seven and five, yeah, they lost to, um, Syracuse, so, uh, yeah, so I think you will, you will beat, beat, beat Liberty. I think, uh, I think you, like, um, lost to Liberty in, like, 2019 or something like that, so, uh, or, or, or 2020, yeah. So I think that, that you will beat Liberty this time, so. Yeah, 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 you had, like, a, a, a bizarre ending to, to the last time you played Liberty, when it's like you had, like, um, blocked a field goal and and returned it for a touchdown and he thought you won the game but uh but um a, a timeout was called uh before the b before the kicks and they got a re-kick and they made it won the game so now you have a chance for uh, revenge so and anyway and then next you get virginia now i just just did my virginia Preview. Yeah, I do think that uh, Virginia is better than you, so I think that's a loss. So anyway, so I think that, that does put you out to like, um, yeah, five and seven. Yeah, so um, so no bowl game, and uh, and um, three and five in the ACC. And now moving on to uh, the uh, Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. And now, um, last year they were um, three and nine. Uh, yep, in their uh, third season under uh, Jeff Collins, yes, three wins, uh, like, like they do uh, every year. Uh, that that Collins has been there. So, and then so anyway. Uh, Yes, yeah, so yes, we will uh, start out on their uh, mom offense. Uh, so yeah, their um, qu quarterback situation. Well, uh, well, um, it wasn't it wasn't very good uh, last year. So I did have um, Jeff Sims and uh, and um, Jordan Yates um, did go. Um, yeah, they went uh, back and forth. Yeah. Uh, though I think um, Sims was the uh, better of the two, but now uh, Yates, uh, my mom hit the uh, uh, the transfer portal. Uh, yeah, he transferred to um, Sam Houston. Uh, but yeah, but y'all did get uh, Taysan uh, Fomachon uh, out of the portal from um, from um, from Clemson. So. So um yeah so so there is going to be a a a, a quarterback competition so uh, anyway so then um um Jameer Gibbs yeah, your best player on offense uh is um ism is gone of course he was really good at running the ball also a uh, a really good uh receiver as well I think he had the uh, third most uh catches on the team so anyway so you do return uh my mom you're a leading receiver uh malachi carter uh we do lose um uh kyrick mcgowan uh to the uh, nfl you also had um adonica sanders uh hit the uh, uh 
the portal. So we also do have some uh, some um, young wide receivers that we'll need to um, step up. So yes, yeah, so like um, um, um Kalani Harris and uh, um, um Nate McCollum. Uh, no, wait. Uh, Kalani Harris, no, Kalani, uh, get Kalani, uh, Norris, excuse me, and, uh, Nate, uh, M McCollum, yeah, yeah, gonna need to, um, uh, to step up, so, so, anyway, so speaking of a running back, yeah, also, uh, your other running back, uh, Jordan Mason, uh, went to the NFL, but you do return um, my mom, Dante Smith. Uh, and, and then also you did get a you know, running back at, out of the backfield. I mean, out of the uh, transfer portal, you got um, Dylan McDuffie from, um, from Buffalo. And he was a 1,000-yard uh, running back at, at Buffalo last year. And you also got... Running back Hassan Hall from Louisville. So, so now o over on your defense, you do lose uh, five starters. Um, uh, um, so you did lose uh, to the NFL. You did lose uh, Wanye Thomas, uh, Tariq. Uh, um, yeah, um, s safety Wanye Thomas. Linebacker Tariq Carter and uh, cornerback Trey Swilling, uh, who is best known for um, picking a fight with George Pickens. So, uh, so um, your uh, edge defenders uh, Jordan Dominic and uh, Jared Ivy uh, left. Yes, but you also did get a uh, a lot of. Um, transfer a lot of players out of the portal uh to um try to uh to try to uh, make up for those losses of course you also do have your uh um your uh, leading tackler returns yeah uh Qu 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 quez jackson so uh but anyways how about we uh get into the schedule to start out week one against clemson uh, yeah, that's a, uh, a, a loss. Yeah, 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 you're gonna get destroyed, probably. Uh, if this Clemson team, uh, Im Im it is improved over last year, which I think they, uh, uh, they will be. So I think that, uh, yeah, 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 that's a loss. Yeah, that's, so that'll be on, uh, Monday. Yeah, yeah, week one. Yeah, yeah, Labor Day, so. And then uh, you've got Western Carolina. That that's an FCS team. Uh, that should be uh, um, an easy win, even for uh, a team like Georgia Tech. So, and then uh, you've got Ole Miss. I I I I I yeah, you're gonna get destroyed. I think Ole, 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 Ole Miss is gonna be uh, really good this year. So that's a loss. And then you are um, at UCF. Uh, yeah, the uh, uh, the Gus bus is uh, is is going to uh, run you over. And then uh, you are at Pitt. Yeah, I already did Pitt. Yeah, so 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 that's in a, a, an automatic L there too. Uh, and then you play Duke. Uh, now, now I do think, yeah, Duke's terrible, but so are you. But I do think that 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 you'll beat Duke. Uh, so, I, so that gives you two wins. All right, so you're what, two and four going into your bye week. Yes, then you get your bye week. You come out of that, and you play uh, Virginia at home on a Thursday night. And, and you know that with these Thursday and Friday night games, right? Take the uh, uh, the uh, uh, 
the uh the home underdog. Uh so yeah. So those so, so those are the rules. So I am going to have you uh mum um, against my better judgment uh beating uh Virginia. So then uh my mom and then you you've got at Florida State. Yeah, that's a loss. And at Virginia Tech. Yeah, back to back road games. I think those are both losses. And then uh you play Miami. Um uh, um that's a loss. I already did Miami, so and then back to back road games uh to finish out the season. Um Loss and loss. I already did did North Carolina and Georgia. So you already know where I'm going going with both of those. And yes, you get your at the end of the year you get your uh, annual beating uh, from my uh, Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah, the uh, de the uh, defending uh, national champions. So. Uh, so um yeah, I guess that um puts you out to um three and nine again. Uh, that's that that that's been been the pattern here. So this will be will be three wins, four years in a row. So and 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 um and yeah and uh mum mum Jeff Collins uh will be fired uh before the end of the season so so three and nine and two and six in the ACC um yes and so now uh moving on to um Duke uh yes this will be the uh, last team uh in 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 this video I know it's uh been a long one yes and i know that uh that um that no that nobody cares about duke football i mean pe people care about duke basketball but they don't care about duke football team right so i'll try to keep this short so um yes so um, um, um long time head coach uh David Cutcliffe, uh, fired slash retired, um, after a, uh, a, a, um, a, um, disastrous, uh, three and nine season, uh, yeah, which is, um, terrible, uh, even for Duke, you know, normally you expect them to win, uh, you know, maybe, you know, six or seven games right but um but um it, yeah they've really been terrible the uh the uh the last two years really so uh david cutcliffe uh gone uh so but uh so so uh so they did bring in um a new head coach uh mike elko uh texas a and m defensive coordinator as head coach so and then so anyway and, and it does not does not look much better of uh, uh uh for this year either so and then uh quarterback gunner holmberg hit the transfer portal so i guess so i guess you, so i guess your quarterback uh now is gonna be um riley uh uh, Leonard, who who was the uh, backup last year, so and then and uh, and running back uh, Mateo Durant uh, gone. So looks like uh, my mom, my mom Jordan Waters is gonna have to uh, is is gonna have to you know step in, uh, and then uh, they do lose uh, their. Uh, they're um they're um number one receiver uh uh Jake Bobo but they do bring back um wide receivers uh um 
yeah, um, my mom, uh, Eli Pankel, and those are the one, uh, Jalen, uh, you get Jalen Calhoun and Eli Pankel, so, and then, uh, yeah, the, yeah, their offense was kind of, you know, well, it, well, it really, uh, was kind of, uh, bad last year, I think only, like, 22 points a game, yeah, that's really bad, and then, um, and then, so now let's talk about your defense, yes, your defense is, absolutely terrible yeah gave up like 40 points a game uh last year oh over 500 yards a game yeah just just absolutely terrible and uh yeah so they did did um my mom lose a uh cornerback uh to the uh my mom my mom in, in nfl uh um, my mom, uh, Josh, uh, Caldwell, uh, uh, actually did get picked up by the, uh, the Eagles, and then you also lost a, uh, uh a couple of other starters in the, uh, transfer portal, so, r r r r really, I'm not even, it was, I mean, their defense was so bad, really, I'm not even gonna, gonna bother to mention anyone on the, uh, the defense, so, uh, which, which was the, uh, the worst in the, uh, ACC, one of the worst in the Power Five, so, or, or all, all of FBS, actually, so, but anyways, how about we, uh, get into the, uh, uh the schedule, yeah, I'm not really going to, um, go through, uh, the whole schedule, just to tell you that you're going two and ten and uh oh and eight in the a c c but and and that you won't even beat a uh a, a power five team but anyway so i did give go ahead and give you uh two wins so you play um um week one um against uh temple and then week three against North Carolina A and T. I mean Temple. Yeah, used to be one, one of the better uh, Group of Five teams, uh, but now they're uh, uh, they're uh, they're they're terrible now. They only won three games last year. So yeah, I think you'll beat them uh, without a problem. And then also North Carolina, A and T. Uh, um, yeah, they're an FCS team. Yeah, yeah, you did beat them uh, easily. Uh, my mom, my mom, last year you blew them out. So I think that's also a win. And then uh, any any uh, ACC games that you could win. I think that uh, that maybe um, you could uh, beat um, Georgia Tech, but because I mean, because I mean, um, they're really bad. But so are you. So and then um, Momo, we also play play Northwestern week two. Uh, and uh Kansas week four I think though the, the the those are both very winnable uh, I think um um both both those teams are terrible but so are you last year you got them both on the road uh my mom. I mean I mean you got them both at home last year this year they're uh both on the road Yes, we do have you losing to um, Northwestern and uh, Kansas. So, yeah, I mean, um, my mom Duke is often thought of as like the uh, the Vandy of the uh, ACC. So, I think that that could be you know where they're uh, headed towards. So. 
headed toward, you know, becoming like a, uh, a, a Vanderbilt or a Kansas. So, uh, but anyway, so, um, my mom, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all again next time.